plot dev just keeps on getting better and better with newer and better releases every single week. The developer this week rolled out with a few large updates where it greatly enhances the framework. Starting off with the first update, in the version 1.9.0 update, ClawDev added this new inspect site tool which allows ClawDev to use a browser autonomously. Now this is quite big because this tool gives you the ability to capture screenshots, console logs of any URL including the local host. And with this update, ClawDev now has more autonomy where it can come to debugging web projects and it makes it super easier for developers to identify and resolve issues. Basically, ClawDev can handle things with greater efficiency as well as with less manual intervention. On top of this, the developer of CloudDev is thinking of this new feature that will be coming soon that will automatically partition configuration files when they exceed the token max size, which is quite large, because this would ensure smoother handling of larger files by splitting the output whenever the limit is reached. This prevents errors as well as improving workflow efficiency. Thirdly, ClawDev now supports the at function in the text area, which is going to allow you to easily add context, much like Cursor's Composer box, where you can attach files for reference. You can simply paste the URL, and this is an extension that will fetch and convert it to Markdown. It's perfect for providing Claude with the latest documentation of your files. You're going to be able to also include workspace errors and warnings, so Claude can troubleshoot and fix them. You're going to be able to insert file contents, and this will eliminate the need for extra API requests to approve file reads as well as having it so that you save a lot more on having the AI just read through the contents that you have uploaded rather than it utilizing more API costs. You can also upload entire folders of files at once and this will streamline your workflow even further. Lastly, there's something that I really wanted to recommend if you're using CloudDev, and that is utilizing Open Router into your workflow. This is because it helps it exceed rate limits because there is no rate limit. It offers prompt caching, which is going to significantly reduce costs in high volume environments. And this is something that I've adopted into my main workflows. And it's been a game changer because you save a lot more and you're going to be able to exceed rate limits. What we're going to be doing now is showcasing all these features within CloudDev. But if you do not have CloudDev installed, you're going to need to install VS Code as your IDE and you will need to install the CloudDev extension within Cl uh, VS Code. To do so, you can simply go over to the extensions tab, search up CloudDev here. You can go over here and you can simply install it. Now for the people who do not have the latest update, what you can do is just simply click on restart extension and this will install the new update for CloudDev. Once you have installed CloudDev, you're going to be able to see the new update, which is the version 1.94. And now you're going to be able to access all of these new features that we mentioned previously. So what I'm going to do now is open up a folder of an app that I have created very recently, which is a stock analysis app. Now, what I'm going to do is with CloudDev, I'm going to have it so that it could prompt open the local host. I'm going to add the files that are essential. So in this case, what you can do now is utilize the app function. This is where you can add multiple files, add the whole folder, which is the app itself. You're going to be able to add multiple things which you can see over here, you can add the URLs. You can paste things such as the URL to fetch contents, which is really cool. And this is the functionality of the new update. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have CloudDev analyze if there's any sort of errors within this folder. So you'll see that I had basically tagged my whole folder and I told it to refine the code and debug anything if needed. And in this case, it was able to view through the whole folder, make the changes that were necessary, and now it's going to edit the files and it's going to also install things that are necessary to make sure that it is functional. Now to showcase the feature where you're going to be able to have CloudDev inspect sites with that new tool, you're going to be able to see this with this new app that I created, which is a simple onboarding flow app. And now I'm going to have it so that it creates a server. It's going to open the server up for me. And in this case, it's starting it up so we can follow the link. And you're going to be able to see this onboarding flow app that I created where it's going to collect the name, email, and phone number. Now, if you are to go back into Cloud Dev, I can basically have it so that it could inspect all the elements for me. So there you go. It has now made the changes for me. But now what I'm going to be doing is requesting it to inspect the local host with the new tool. So in this case, it's going to now uh, prompt up to wanting to inspect this website. 
and there you go you're going to be able to see the app that you've created in this case it will even go through the console logs it will also focus on creating new files and in this case it's inspecting all the changes that are necessary within the local host and there you go it was able to add like an example name an email address as well as a phone number and this clearly shows the benefit of the new inspect site tool because it's going to allow cloud dev to use your browser autonomously it's going to be able to utilize your console logs and make the right changes wherever it is necessary and previously you weren't capable of actually having cloud dev inspect your uh, local host you would have to have it uh, upload your own console logs you would have to provide any error messages and then it would make the changes and then you would have to copy those changes to your server and then launch the server again to see the new changes now it's going to be able to autonomously view and inspect your local host and make the changes on its own you won't need to do anything you would just have it so that it makes all the changes and in this case you were able to see that it was able to make the right changes and the right edits and it made it really really nice now, since the developer is really proactive in upgrading his framework, I have actually made another update video on Cloud Dev, which focused on a lot of the updates up to version 1.6.0. But for the people who do not know, this is actually a really big update where you can run commands directly in your terminal. This is where you can have it so that new uh, there's a new shell integration and this will execute tasks smoother and more integrated within Claude Dev. You can see over here that you can use the new proceed while running feature and allow Claude Dev to continue working with commands that are being executed. And over here you can see with new outputs it's going to be able to showcase that it can actively respond and adjust by editing files in real time. This is something that will significantly enhance workflow efficiency and enable Claude to multitask and troubleshoot whenever the code is being ran. Another cool feature I want to highlight is that you're going to be able to go past and track your files timeline. If you go over to your folder and say this is the onboarding app that we just created and say we go to a random file such as a server or even the script, you're going to be able to then go over to the timeline and you're going to be able to see all the edits that have been made. So 24 minutes ago, Cloud Dev was able to make this workspace edit and you can see it has checkpoints to showcase the changes that were made and you can even go to another file to showcase this you have html and you can see all the edits that were necessarily made from the first checkpoint all the way to the third checkpoint this is a really useful way for you to easily view a diff or an, a simple edit and it's especially useful if you want to revert to a previous version without needing to rely on git everything is automatically managed by vs code's local history so you can easily view your timeline of your previous code now at the rate that the developer has been releasing a lot of new updates, I definitely see huge improvements coming within the month of October. So definitely stay tuned for the next update video on Cloud Dev as it's truly going to be amazing. I already know a couple of things because I have been in talks with the developer. So I do see a lot of cool things coming fairly soon and this is something that is a great open source alternative in comparison to something like Composer. And it's slowly but surely getting to that same level as an open source tool. So that's a great thing and a great new addition to the open source field. But I definitely recommend that you give Cloud Dev a star. Not a lot of people actually know about it, so definitely give this a follow. Uh, make sure you follow the developer himself. And with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you appreciate all the small new updates that have been made. Make sure you utilize the new open router API route to exceed rate limits and have it so that you save more on API costs. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.